Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Finally, I'm feeling better, so I thought I could give you a little update on our COVID situation and tell you what it's been like for us and for this boy as well. But before that, I'll give you a little sneak peek of our next video. This is what I'm working on right now. So stay tuned for that. And Rancho is helping me as always. He's always here sleeping by my feet. He never leaves my side. As you may know, my husband and I contracted COVID about two weeks ago. It started when my husband lost his sense of smell. Uh, we knew it was probably COVID. He didn't have any other symptoms. He was just a little tired. But then two days later, I got a fever and I spent more than a week in bed. So for this boy, it hasn't been easy either. People have been asking us how we can walk Rancho now that we have COVID and we're in quarantine. And I think officially the regulation says that we shouldn't or we should find someone who could take the dog out for us. And if this can't be done, we should only go out early in the morning or late at night. But we don't really know anyone who could take Rancho out several times a day. Plus, I don't think anyone would want to come here every day and risk catching COVID. So what we do is that we wear face masks and gloves and we avoid people. The first three days, I couldn't even imagine taking Rancho out to pee. So his dad had to take care of him and he also had to take care of me. And he was also working from home, so he didn't have so much time for Rancho. So, but Rancho was very patient the first few days and he, he spent most of the time by my side sleeping. But after a couple of days, you could really see his frustration. You know, he's used to getting two long walks a day where he can run off leash, often with his doggy friends. And I always say that he doesn't go on walks, but he goes running. He literally never stops running when we're outside. So you can probably imagine how he felt after a couple of days of short walks. It just wasn't enough. But it's not always only about him, right? People on Instagram gave us some tips on what we could do to keep him entertained. But most of those things required my active participation, like hiding a toy or treats or doing tricks or obedience. But I really wasn't capable of doing that. I was just in bed and any slight physical activity made me feel extremely tired. And my husband was working, so he didn't have time for that. On the upside though, we weighed Rancho the other day and he actually managed to gain some weight. Last time we checked, he weighed 27.5 kilos, uh, which is incredible. It's the most he's ever weighed in his life. And we've been trying to put some weight on him for ages. And it seems the only thing that he needed was for us to catch COVID. <laughs> Anyway, we are better now, my husband's quarantine is over, and my quarantine should end on Saturday. So all will be back to normal soon. It's been over two weeks since my first symptoms, and I still get tired easily, and I think it's gonna take some time before I feel 100%. I don't normally get sick, and I can't even remember the last time I had the flu. And I thought I was gonna recover within three days, but this virus knocked me down really good. I had headaches, body aches, I had a bad sore throat, but it was hard for me to eat and drink. So I feel like I have more respect for the virus than I had before. Not that I didn't take it seriously before. Of course, I was worried about my grandparents and the older members of our family, but I thought if I caught it, that it was only gonna be a super mild case and I was gonna recover fast. You know, they say that when you're young, healthy and an active person, you sh it shouldn't be a big deal, but it got me really good. And it actually made me understand better some of the measures taken in order to stop the spread of the virus. Yeah, I just wanted to give you this quick update. Uh, if you have any questions, ask in the comments. 
I hope you're staying safe and healthy during these difficult times. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and click on that little bell icon so that you're notified every time we post a new video. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time.